Hello everyone. I'm John Michael and I'm your Lord. And I'm Denzel Joshua Barbon. And we're here to talk about the one influential abstract painter that inspired other artists to paint too. Who is she? Then let's find out. Who is this artist that people define your works as an inside expression in wildness and silence? Two of her dominant movements were abstract expressionism and minimalism. So, who is this artist? Yes, you're right. It's Agnes Martin. Agnes Bernice Martin was born in Canada, was an American abstract painter often referred to as a minimalist. Martin considered herself an abstract expressionist. Her work has been defined as an essay in discretion, inwardness, and silence. Agnes Bernice Martin was born in 1912 to Scottish Presbyterian farmers in Macklin, Saskatchewan. One of four children from 1919, she grew up in Vancouver, she moved to the United States in 1931 to help her pregnant sister, Mirabel, in Bellingham, Washington. She preferred American higher education and became an American citizen in 1950. Martin studied at Western Washington University's College of Education, Bellingham, Washington. Prior to receiving her Bachelor in Arts in 1942 from Teachers College, Columbia University in 1947, she attended the Summerfield School of the University of New Mexico in Taos, New Mexico. After hearing lectures by the Zen Buddhist scholar D.T. Suzuki at Columbia, she became interested in Asian thought, not as a religious discipline, but as a code of ethics, a practical how-to for getting through life. A few years following graduation, Martin matriculated at the University of New Mexico, Albuquerque where she also taught art courses before returning to Columbia University to earn her MA in 1952. She moved to New York City in 1957 and lived a in Quentin Slip in Lower Manhattan. She left New York City in 1967, disappearing from the art world to live alone. After 18 months on the road, Martin settled in Cuba, New Mexico in 1968 to 1977 and then Galisteo, New Mexico in 1977 to 1993. She was publicly known to have schizophrenia. Once opting for electrical shock therapy for treatment, many of her paintings bear very positive names such as Happy Holiday, 1999, and I Love the Whole World, 2000. In an interview in 1989, discussing her life and her painting, Agnes Martin said, Beauty and perfection are the same. They never occur without happiness. A pioneer of her time, Agnes Martin never publicly expressed her sexuality, but has been described as a closeted homosexual. She often employed an intersectional feminist lens when she critiqued fellow artist's work. Jale Mansour, an art historian, states that Martin was too engaged in a feminist relation to practice perhaps, to objectify and label it as such. It was not until the age of 30 that she decided to become an artist. Living in New Mexico, Martin began producing abstracted portraits, still lifes, and landscapes. But as her work developed, she abandoned representational content and started painting biomorphic abstractions. In 1957, she moved to New York and joined a vibrant artistic circle. Her work soon became increasingly simplified and geometric, ultimately evolving into radical, innovative, and sometimes seemingly blank paintings made of penciled grids on large square canvases. She built an adobe home for herself in each location. She lived alone all her adult life. In 1993, she moved to a retirement residence in Taos, New Mexico, where she lived until her death in 2004. To know more about her ability as an artist, here are some of her artworks. One of her artworks is entitled Friendship, and it was made on 1963. The medium used is 
gold leaf and oil on canvas. The dimension is 190.5 by 190.5 cm. The second artwork is entitled Good One. It was made in 1963. Medium used are ink, colored ink, ballpoint pen, and pencil on paper. Its dimension is 38.1 by 39.4 cm. The third artwork is called Mountain and it was made in 1960. The medium used is ink and pencil on paper. The dimension is 24 by 30.2 cm. The fourth artwork is entitled With My Back to the World. It was made in 1997. Medium used is synthetic polymer paint on canvas, six panels. Its dimension is 152.5 by 152.5 centimeters. The fifth artwork is called Thermolo and it was made on 1962. The medium use is ink on paper. The dimension is 25.5 by 28 centimeters. What is art for her? This is what she said. When I think of art, I think of beauty. Beauty is the mystery of life. It is not in the eye, it is in the mind. In our minds, there is awareness of perfection. Art is the concrete representation of our most subtle feelings. My paintings are not about what is seen. They are about what is known forever in the mind. Martin used the grid as an organizational element in canvases that were awash with color, thus seamlessly blending what on the surface are two very different styles, minimalism and color field. Martin's works are non-representational, yet the titles of her paintings and her own words about her art and that indicate that she was strongly influenced by nature. A focus that brought together different areas of her life. Her adherence to Buddhism encouraged to rely on her everyday surroundings for subject matter. And her schizophrenia meant that she did not relate well or easily to humans, so that nature represented a calm, ordered refuge. Martin's use of the grid along with her focus on non-representational released the artist from the burden of traditional subject matter while allowing her to explore infinite variations of subtle color. The resulting freedom of her artwork was at odds with the monastic restraint of her daily life. She was one of the few female artists who gained recognition in the male-dominated art world of the 1950s and 60s. Martin is a pivotal figure between two of that era's dominant movements, abstract expressionism and minimalism. Her content, an expression of essential emotions, relates her to the earlier group, the abstract expressionist. But her methods, repetition, geometric compositions, and basic means were adopted by the minimalist who came to prominence during the 60s. Today, the Agnes Martin Gallery attracts visitors from all over the world and has been compared by scholars. Agnes Martin proved that she's a woman who's dedicated to fulfilling her artistic vision, one who also had to contend with mental illness which she was diagnosed with schizophrenia and retrograde attitudes toward her sexuality because she was a lesbian. She's an artist of modest. Her practice became a metaphor for her search for tranquility. It is so obvious with her paintings, with every little strokes she did will make you realize that life is simple yet full of inspiring memories. <laughs>